All right, you guys, I want to show you a real common move here, something that's in my workout because I've been using these myself lately, but this is something that I see a lot of people do wrong, and it's really a move that you don't want to do wrong because you can hurt yourself. So I picked a, a relatively heavy kettlebell. This is a 53-pound kettlebell, and I'm going to do it with both arms, and I'm going to do it with one arm at a time, and it's a kettlebell swing. So the way that you do not want to do this is to turn it into a squat and front raise. So you don't want to squat like this, a squat's different from a hip hinge, and I'll talk about that. You don't want to squat to begin, and then you don't want to use the shoulders to initiate the movement to lift it out in front of you. And you don't want to keep your arms straight either like that, like you're in the military. What you want to do is you want to do a hip hinge, which means the hips actually bend more than the knees bend. So this is a hip hinge, kind of like doing a deadlift where you pick the weight up straight off the floor, as opposed to a squat where the knees bend more than the hips do. So I want to start in a hip hinge, and then I want to use my hips to thrust the weight forward, and then I'm going to relax my arms, let the weight fly on its own, and then just let it fall back down. Catch it at the bottom, throw it back up, catch it at the bottom. So it looks something like this. So I catch it, throw it, catch it, throw it, catch it, throw it. Notice how my arms are nice and loose. I'm not using my shoulders at all. I'm using my butt and hips, squeezing my butt. When I push forward, catch at the bottom, throw, catch, throw. And I can do it with one arm too, which is evidence that I'm not using my shoulders on this lift. I'm using my hips. My arms are just guiding the weight as I let the weight fall back down. I just want to even it out. Do a few more on the other side. Okay? So that's both a single arm and a double arm kettlebell swing. Now, the way you want to think about it is like a gun. There's an initial boom, power, and then you just let it fly after that. There's not a constant pressure coming from your shoulders lifting it up and then decelerating on the way down. Now, if you guys want to know more stuff about kettlebells and have a lot of technique pointers, get anything from Mike Mahler or Steve Cotter, uh, C-O-T-T-E-R. Both those guys are incredible. And there are a lot of other good kettlebell instructors, but those two in particular I think are very good.